Now that our character is correctly set, the skeleton is made and everything is moving like in a, in a good way. I, if I move the leg, it draw the feet with it. We're going to animate that character. So in order to do that, we will create a new composition because that uh, that we did in the last tutorial, that is just, it's our base. Okay, so we might use this character again in other compositions. So we want to keep it safe, keep it like that. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to create another composition based on this one. So we're going to create a, dupe, uh, a, 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 a copy just by holding Command and D. I know it's not obvious. It's nowhere on the uh, on the menu, but it's that that's how it is. Uh, Control D, like Dennis or Apple D, Command D. So now I created another composition, which is exactly the same like the last one. But what I will do in this composition won't affect the other one. I'm going to rename that composition and I'm going to give it the name of the action that I want to create. Okay, so I can go with just, uh, I don't know, he's scratching the head. So we'll go scratching head. Okay name a good name because when you're going to be exporting your document you're going to make a movie out of it you're going to you're going to make a movie out of that composition so we're going to save that okay i had a voice so i will just go and go file import uh in animation it's better if the voice is already done because of course character move and move his mouth and everything accordingly to the to the the the, the voice so Illustrator accept a variety of uh, of sound. Uh, you can you can do that just with your phone. I personally have a H4N device, so uh, any mic will do. Okay, so I'll just go there and I put my voice in my document. I will try to put my voice near my uh, mouth because right voice is coming out of the mouth, and see what it does. It does when i open all the little triangle here i can see the level of my voice see yeah i don't think so so i can hear the level of my voice whenever there is action here it means that there is a sound so i can literally start cutting my voice because it's too long my animation here so just by holding see when i'm just it's like a ribbon when i'm near the ribbon i'm holding and i'm clicking um just like cutting the sound literally so I don't want all of those little artifacts that come out of the recording and then I hold and I drag to have the sound at the beginning of the animation okay so what you can see uh, is my composition here my sounds not very long this is a uh, two second ish animation and so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell my composition that I just created that is going to be two seconds long because I have too much going on here so I'm just going to go uh, right click um, uh, composition perimeter and I'm going to go and I'm going to say okay I just want uh, two seconds in my animation those are uh, those are fraction of second frame so I go here so that every it makes everything bigger so it's going to be easier for me to work I can play it yeah. I don't think so. Nothing moves so far. And you can see that my sound is playing faster than actually uh, what it is on the timeline. That's because my computer take a hard time processing the whole thing and the sounds go faster. So we're, that this is why we're going to relate on the sound wave here to do our animation. Okay, so first thing first, we need to move something. So I'm going to close the, the, the voice here. Uh, for first and I'm gonna see what I can move so I want to do a little a uh, little animation an easy one just for the start so I'm gonna locate the feet for instance let's take the feet the right feet and I'm just gonna have the feet clap a little like that so it's gonna give you basic of introduction of, a, of animation I can make this panel bigger here because that's this is where everything is going on okay so here we go, move a little here, because you'll see that I have to open the layer like that and I have transform and then I have all the different transformation that I can do to my character. So I'm moving my feet. What I want to do is a rotation. So I'm just going to click on the, the, the little uh, kind of uh, watch thing here. Um, and then what it does, it make a keyframe, okay, on this frame. I go 
a little far those are frame okay so fraction of the movement so i'll go like for instance like that and i'm gonna put another keyframe by holding in the middle of the section there see there's a keyframe and i'm gonna move my rotation a little so that's the clapping finger here okay i'm gonna see if the movement is too fast by pressing spacebar yeah okay it sounds sounds fair so now i have two keyframe feet up feet down so what I can just do is I can just copy and paste those keyframes. Copy. Okay. And I go here. Okay. So few frame after. Command V to paste. And then I go Command V. And then I go further on Command V. And then I go further on Command V. And you got the idea when I'm back at the beginning. See? Yeah. I don't think so. The mm, finger you know. is clapping easy easy peasy okay so i had my finger uh my uh, my feet going up and down let's do the the let's do the hand scratching the head because that's that's our main action here okay so let's go there and we'll go with um i i'll move first the the first parent okay so if my head my hand is going to my head it means that i have my upper arm moving and dragging them all alone remember because they're all parents so i'll go to my upper arm uh left here upper arm left and i'll do a rotation just a quick quick shortcut you can go with all those little triangle or you can just hit r for rotation easy and then i just press on the little watch sheet thing here and it says okay you want to do a rotation and i'm going to put the keyframe for the start then i go and i place my timeline a little little off okay here for instance okay this is going to go very fast and i can you know it and after effects it's always better to go with the value so what it means here it's zero time 50 degree so that that's all good v zero time 50 degree and then at the same time that my upper arm is moving, my uh, my uh, my my lower arm is moving too. So I'm gonna go with my lower arm. I'm gonna hit R also. I'm gonna go here at the beginning of the movement, a little of the movement here to create uh, a little dynamicity here. And I'm gonna go like that, for instance. And the movement is not finished yet, and I have my arm that is moving like that okay and so one two three and then the hand go like that so i'll go hand left and then i'll hit r for rotation i'm gonna click on the little watchy thing here and still it's rotation again so i'm gonna go a little far off here i'm gonna hit to make a new keyframe gonna go down with my hand and same thing then with the, the feet, remember, I just can take those two keyframes, copy them, go f a little far, and go Command C, and go a little far away, and go Command C, and go a little far away. I can even, you know, I've made a few here, so I can just take all of that and go Apple C and Apple V if I, if I, if I wanted to, no problem here. That's it. So I have my my hand that is scratching yeah i don't think so okay let's let's move the mouse it's getting exciting here so let's let's move the mouth at the same rhythm of the uh of the voice okay so let's go in the mouse because the rest you can do uh afterwards we'll do the mouse i will be locating those um waveform so what i'll do with my mouse this is getting a bit in the way the control are getting a bit in the way so i'm gonna hide the control i'm just gonna go in view and i'm gonna hide uh layers control so shift command h so that way i can move my mouth in at the same time seeing what it does so uh yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna scale my mouth down okay so what I need to do is I want to scale my mouth out, but only uh, vertically. So I'm going to hit the little chain here so that it don't go. Because if, if it's hit, the mouth goes like bigger down at the same time. So I'm just going to hit back that. 
and then I'm going to go and I'm going to hit, I'm going to make a keyframe here at the beginning to say, okay, this is my mouth at first. Okay. So my mouth should be closed at first. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to close my mouse like that. So mouth is closed and then whoop, waveform up. So waveform up mean mouth open. Then I go like that, where waveform really up, so a little bit more than original. It might get pixelated here. Don't worry, it's just the preview, okay? The, the, the preview make it pixelated, the whole thing, but once you export it, it will be all right, okay? I just go down a little, okay? Waveform down, so I go waveform down, so I go almost, uh, almost zero because there's almost no sound see what i mean waveform up i'm just gonna put more here i know it's a bit long here then i will make it larger than expected okay see it get pixelated one thing i can do when i get pixelated see there's a little sun here i will just hit that here what it makes is that little sun well literally i, sh I should have the the little sun in all of my uh, my vector what it makes it it make the vector uh, vector shape and and uh, it ma it makes it so that if you make it bigger, it will always be clear and uh, yeah it will never get pixelated. So that's 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 a that's a good thing to know. And then I go down so my mouse goes small and it can it can get very shut here. See there was nothing so I'll go zero almost below zero it make a straight line so I like that and then up again and then I just going down again and you know you you got the drill here space bar here I don't think so. and the voice is not synchronized with um, with the uh, the movement because of the computer what I have to do if I really want to see it, I have to export it. Let's 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 do that because I think you know you um, you know the drill a little. You know how it goes. Uh, you can move the pupil. You can move everything. Let let's export this animation just to see if we are um, right on spot. If things are too fast or things are too slow, so we can save. So in order to export this movie, we'll go export and we'll use Media Encoder. Media Encoder is uh, it's a little software that goes along After Effects and it allow me to export thing um, at the right uh, codec for the different uh, deliverable, whether it is uh, for television or for YouTube. Uh, that's uh, that's a good thing here to uh, to export through uh, Media Encoder. So it takes a while to go. In the meantime, I'll go just my my pupil. See because the pupil it's. Um, it's good to have the people uh, move because it, it 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 makes a little personality here, um, and uh, will yeah I'll move the position of my pupil. So see I'll 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 take both of my pupil, and I'll go in the transformation. So I'm just selecting and with shift I'm selecting both of them, and I'll hit position here. See when both of them are selected, it means both of them move the same uh, same way. So I'm going to go a little far ahead here, for instance, and I'm going to move the position here a little on the Y. Oh, no, no, not like that. This is too much, but like that, for instance. OK, so that that's that's fun because my pupil can go little up, little down on the on the Y, little on the Z here, little on the Z here, left and right. And that's also a funny thing to uh, to do with my character. Okay, is my media encoder ready? Okay, media encoder is ready. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna go. Sometimes I have to do it twice. Don't know why, but I have to go file, export in media encoder because media encoder was not ready to get it. Okay, so here I am in media encoder. Um, H264. That's a good thing. Okay, that's something that you wanna you you wanna take. It's it basically it's good for YouTube. It's good for television. That's uh, that's all good. So you just go with the default H254. That's 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 all nice. If you want to make an animated GIF, it's there also. So uh, things you gotta know here. You click here. 
that's going to tell you where your movie is going okay because otherwise it's kind of lost on your computer so let's say i just want it on my on my desktop okay so i'm gonna go youtube here uh scratching head i'm gonna save and i'm gonna press on play and what it will do it will basically process my my thing and then at the end i'm gonna have my little youtube uh animation uh simply like that here and it's gonna be mm, yeah i don't think so simple like that 